This evening is in the blood of the land. There's a fountain flowing, fountain flowing for the soul. So I will be washed in the blood. One more time, oh, oh, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, in the blood. together this evening. Yeah. 
leaving my sin and strong. Oh, he is not true, he is not just one. together now. I will oh yes, yeah. oh, yes together. Oh, so and free. Jesus greatest. Jesus oh greatest highest I will come to the I am resolved Oh, I am resolved to enter the kingdom, leaving the path of sin. Friends may oppose me, foes may beset me, still we are together now. I will hope and to him and stand so clear and free. Jesus greatest, greatest highest will come to I am resolved, and who will go with me? Come, friends, without delay. Don't buy the Bible, let by the Spirit we'll walk the heavenly way. Our ears together now. Oh, I will hasten to him, hasten to and free. Jesus, Jesus can. Stay happy, amen. Riri, poti, meri, zerenero, para Jesu, oata, ziwa kasha, hamba muaka, akachina. Quaso Tino Tena Tino Farajis O Ani Fira Leona Pamunchi Puro Parana Banda Parana Tatsi, oh, you 
mutasiwa wa farakuo nasi mutasi ne mawoko tose mutasi kurutino Tino tena tino tino tena tino ufarajis ye ani vira o na pa na pa muci ci pa o na rupa para kanda. As we put our hands together for the Lord this evening, Kupina Kune Kune Gaku Kutwe Asimi Asi Asi Maka Maka Pamos Oswata Oji No Tenda. Banaroshoku Uti Chavimba de Chukungu Uatangu So No Ku No Ku Tenda No Ku Oji no tenda di no tenda di no para Jesus Jesus wadi fira hallelujah na pa muci muci na ro para na para Oji no tenda di no tenda di no di no para Jesus o anti vira Alleluia na pa na pa muci
religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. And it's good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. And it's good enough for me. Oh, give me that old old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Oh, give me that old time religion. And it's good enough for me. Oh, it's the old time on sea and the dead for one year. That's the reason people fear it. But it's good enough for me. Oh, give me that whole, whole time. Oh, give me that whole time. Are we in together? Give me that whole time. And it's good enough for me. Oh, it will make you stop your life. It will save you when you die. It will stop the devil fight. Oh, and it's good. It will make you stop your life. Oh, it will make you stop your life. It will save you when you die. It will stop the devil fight. It is good enough for me. Oh, give me that hope. It's so good, I want no other, for it makes me love my brother, and it brings things from undercover, and it's good, one more time, oh, oh, give me that whole time, 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 Oh, yes, together now. Give me that whole time religion. Oh, give me that whole. Prepare us to hear the word. Amen. Kuna hama kupi inda jesu. Oh, hakuna hakuchi. Oh, hakuna mu umwe kura apavese. Hakuna oh ha. Hakuna, 
Chipo, oh, ha, kuna chipo, chiku, maoko to se, uswe ba, oh, ha, kuna, ha, kuna, kuna mumwe, ha, kuna mumwe, kura, apa, moyo. For us all together, Jesus, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, Oh, ha, the last of us. Hakuna nguva. Hakuna nguva. Tisi inga wonui. Hakuna. Hakuna. Apana nswimbo. Apana nswimbo. Asi inga siwe. Amen. We are twenty. Yes. 
I welcome all of you and greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As I said, I'll be talking about um, what is happening in Israel, how it, um, it is spiritually significant and prophetically significant. I believe a student of the scriptures we want to see prophecy unfolding and it actually um, makes us drive closer to God knowing that the time is at hand. Israel is God's timepiece. So we must be seeing what is happening there and it also the strategies of warfare that were used will show us also how the enemy attacks a Christian because Israel is the natural seat of Abraham. We are the spiritual seat of Abraham. We are the spiritual Israel. So open our Bibles to Zechariah chapter 12, uh, verse 3. It says, In that day, and many of that, those scriptures that say that day, that day is this day. In that day, I'll make Jerusalem. A bit and some stone for all the people that bit in themselves with it shall be cut into pieces. Let us pray, our Heavenly Father, will come to the into your hands in this teaching time. Anoint us and direct us and open our eyes, anoint them with the eyes of, of your Holy Spirit to make us know, Lord Father, like the sons of Isaac, and we had understanding of times to know what Israel ought to do. We quicken us, Father, in this 11th hour to prepare and to arise and trim our lamps because time is at hand. Let our lamps be burning like never before. Let your Holy Spirit anoint us with that oil. Father, prepare us. If there be someone who is still a sinner, let them be awakened in this lateness of the hour and come to you, Lord Father, and work their salvation with fear and trembling. We commit the service into your hands in Jesus' name. Amen. We may be seated. When I announce this subject, I was thinking I was thinking of a lot of rich things to comment on knowing that I'm departing tomorrow going to Scotland but the devil today was fighting so much until I had too many patients I had no time to prepare as much as I did I thought I would but I've put a few things maybe I'll pick part two when I come back so that's why I took your time during the song service trying to put one or two things but it says I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling and it also says that uh, um, those who betten themselves against it shall be cut to pieces it says uh, Jerusalem shall be a rock of offense so you see many nations that come against Jerusalem are cut to pieces even you as a child of God everything that comes against you is cut to pieces because he that keepeth Israel does not sleep or slumber he says whosoever touches you touches the apple of my eye so one of thing of interest let's go back to Leviticus chapter 23 because it is an amazing thing that this attack happens at the season of the feasts of trumpet and feast of tabernacles for Israel because uh, to us as you know that the seventh month of Israel becomes October to us because their first month is um, April the fourth month is the first so meaning that this becomes their seventh month and God had said in Leviticus chapter 23 saying uh, verse 24 speak to the children of Israel in verse 24 in the seventh month on the first day of the month we take it as October you shall uh, have a memorial of blowing of trumpets and trumpets uh, signifies war and trumpets signifies a gathering together trumpets signify a solemn assembly so one day the trumpet shall sound so that we shall have a meeting in the air a solemn assembly right now the gospel trumpet is sounding delivering people from captivity again the trumpet of jubilee is sounding bringing you back to your inheritance so you shall not do any several work then and then he says in the tenth day which is like yesterday to us but to the Jews it's already passed because the Jewish calendar is 30 days a month so our calendar uh, actually is slower than their calendar um, uh, in the tenth day of the seventh month you shall have a day of atonement um, a holy convocation you shall not do any several work there but what is amazing is that when the children of God are at rest and they are not doing any several work that's when the devil plans an attack thinking it's an unguarded moment but it's an attack on the word of God 
says, speak to the children of Israel, saying, on the fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be the feast of tabernacles. Seven days unto the Lord. Um, so, the feast of tabernacles. Now, let's look at this chart. The seven feasts of Israel, so that you can understand why the devil attacked at that time. Um, they represent something to the bride of Christ. So the Passover time is when Christ, our Passover, died for us. It was on 14th of April. Then the 15th of April, unleavened bread, his body did not suffer corruption in the grave. Then first fruits was 16 April when he resurrected. Then for 40 days he appeared and uh, before them. So it was first fruits when he was first born from the resurrection. Then after 40 days of appearing and disappearing he ascended then he says you shall not you shall receive the holy ghost not many days hence that was 10 days to make it 50 which makes pentecost so on the day of pentecost the holy ghost comes exactly 50 days from the resurrection god keeping his feast then from pentecost all the way to the fall there are no feasts it's the time for the church ages. Israel is quiet at that time. Then when you see Israel awakening, it means gentle days are numbered. That's right. Because when God deals with the Jews, uh, he's not dealing with Gentiles at that time, except the few who come in by faith. But then the Gentiles, as it is as the 11th hour people, their time comes back. As it is written in uh, Revelation 11, as it is written in Romans 11, as it is written throughout the scriptures, the, the 11 hour people, even the world war that ended was on 11 November, which is the 11th month at 11 o'clock, the first world war to bring back the Jews to their position after almost 2,000 years. It doesn't matter how long you've lost something. When the time for restoration comes, it doesn't matter whether it's thousands of years or what, it comes back. Now, after, in the fall, which is the ending of time, and scriptures say that day will not come until there's a falling away in the other sense of fall. So then the man of sin is revealed. So the trumpets, that is the gospel to the Israel. Moses and Elijah shall sound the trumpets to them, restoring them in their tribal order. And then the atonement, they shall look to him that they have pierced. And then Tepanekus is the millennium. Hallelujah. So if you notice that the attack happened at the end of the feast of Tepanekus, it will remind you of a scripture. But let me just skip this scripture and come to Sakoth. Sakoth is the feast of Tepanekus which represents the millennium where the, in Zechariah says those who shall not come to the, the honor of the Lord in the feast of Tabernacles there shall be no rain in their places that is the millennium we shall reign with Christ for a thousand years so why is it that when the feast of Tabernacles ended there was that attack it comes to another scripture but let's first look at this that the feast of Tabernacles or Sakoth um the, the devil, let me get to Revelation chapter 20 verse uh, 7 okay yours is playing there mine was not playing, this one let me see if it's playing here uh, on the Sakoth the feast of Tepanekus that they will bring, they will take water um, from uh, the pool of Siloam and then they will come to the temple with it and go around seven times in the altar that's why Christ says on the last day of the feast that was the feast of Tabernacles. John 7 verse 37. He cried with a loud voice that if any man is a thirst, let him come to the waters. But anyway, at the end of the feast of Tabernacles, that's when, that's the end of the millennium in pictures, right? So the Bible says, when the thousand years, which is the millennium, was expired, Satan gathered his army to come and attack the camp of the blessed ones. So when the thousand years was expired, in other words, when the feast of Tepanekus was over, 6 a.m. in the morning, the devil, the hammers, those are not hammers like hammer, like the, the friends or the, the brethren. So, but fire from heaven destroyed the enemy. So 
the, the camp of the blessed, they don't fight for themselves, but fire from heaven fought for them. So we see one thing that was amazing as it is reported in the news, like some would say on the 16th of September, uh, there was this news that uh, there will be a rare green comet seen in the skies. Those Bible readers remember that God shows signs in heaven above on, and on earth below. So the signs in the heavens and earth are heralding that something is about to happen. But there is something special about a green, about a comet. Oh, the, this does, for example, let's look at this. Um, the Halley's Comet was seen um, 1866, four years before Titus invaded Jerusalem. So now it's also seen in September, just before the invasion of Jerusalem. So even in the days when, just before the World War, people in the newspapers, it was put there. I think it was in the May uh, 1910, just before the World War. The, there was a comet of stars and people started fearing that the world is at end, is at end, the end of the world. So again, in 1844, there was a comet. It's even so, so, shown in the uh, coins of Caesar. That comet marked the end of the rule of Julius Caesar. So if they take it as those comets herald a transition of powers. So it was in June 6 when you see that comet. Actually, some scholars say that the star that appeared in Jerusalem was the Halley's Comet. That is their comment on it. So, um, whether it is or not, but anyway, stars were heralding a great event that is about to happen. So, uh, we see that it is mentioned, okay, I think, um, allow me to quickly restart my PowerPoint, there is something that is not. So, the, the war that is happening in Israel right now, it's because um, the timing of the war, the common, the, those who are starting are saying the actual attack on Israel by the Hamas who are begged by Iran is because uh, of the agreement that is happening between Israel and Saudi Arabia. I think you remember that uh, Saudi Arabia um, is an enemy to Iran. Iran is the one that is sponsoring Hezbollah, enemies of Israel, also sponsoring uh, the Hamas. So those are surrounding Israel. You know, Israel is surrounded by enemies, but always overcomes. It doesn't matter what surrounds you as a believer, but you must always overcome. So here it is in this chart, just go to that chart, it shows the Hamas initiated an attack over Saudi Arabia, Israel, peace deal. Why would Iran be threatened by a peace deal between Saudi Arabia and Israel and America? It's because, um, you know, Arabs are divided themselves. You know, the Iranians and the, even Hezbollahs were Iranians and the Hamas were enemies actually because the other ones were Shias, the other ones were, were the Sunnis, different sects of, of uh, Arabs, but they had to combine because of a common enemy, Israel. Now if those people who are so different can combine because of a common enemy, we as believers also must combine because of a common devil that we are fighting. Now, Iran started having nuclear weapons recently um, because they want to destroy Israel. Um, but because they are enemies to Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia started wanting also to have nuclear weapons. So they have to, to negotiate with America in the proliferation deals. And then now in that deal, America is taking advantage and Israel is taking advantage in a peace deal. When you see Israel and America in a table, you are already in prophecy. Because there shall be an agreement that shall be done. But anyway, in, in this deal that is happening, Iran doesn't want it to happen because if Saudi has a nuclear weapon, 
they will be having upper hand of on Iran. So, but in this deal, why it will be a win-win? For Israel, they will win peace. For America, they will have oil at a lower cost. For Saudi Arabia, they will have uh, their proliferation of nuclear weapons. So, this deal, when it was about to be signed, that's when the Hamas attacked. Well, in the spiritual, when you are about to have a major breakthrough, that's where the devil attacks. When something great is about to happen in your life, you will meet a lot of battles. But what I liked about America, they said, we are going on with this deal, whether there is war or no war. When you are determined to achieve something, don't be deterred by the battles that you see. Go on and achieve. But if this, this seems to be the actual reason why the Hamas, who were funded by Iran, started rocketing at that time. The other reason, of course, is that this happens to be the 50th year celebration of the other war they won, I think the Yom Kippur won. So, but if this be the reason, it will match a scripture of Tobiah and Sanballat, which is in Nehemiah 2 verse 10. When Sanballat the Horonite and Tobiah the servant, his, the servant and the Ammonite had it grieved them exceeding that there came a man to seek the welfare of Israel. So when someone was trying to do good for Israel, this Tobiah and Sanballat appeared in battle. When there is something good about to happen in your life, that's where spirit rise to fight in your life. Now, the temple area is still surrounded by the Muslims. But Israel one of the reasons why they want to attack Israel, the Hamas, they were saying Israel had planned in 2024 to rebuild their third temple. And you remember when they rebuild their temple and start temple worship, it means we are remaining. Whosoever sees that temple complete and temple worship continue, it means we are left because at that time, God is no longer dealing with the Gentiles. Because we were crafted in when we were a wild olive tree. And the Jews were crafted out and kept somewhere where they don't totally dry. And then in the fullness of Gentile times, they are put back because God reveals himself back to the Jews. The same message of the hour will be preached to the Jews to win the 144,000 Jews that are genuine. So this mosque of Al-Aqsa Actually the war is around is, is named after Al-Aqsa um, That mosque is actually An abomination of desolation It's standing Where the holy temple Ought to be And in our lives there are some things That are standing Where holy prayer life ought to be There are some filthy programs That are standing In the time, in the place where you ought to be Listening to a tap is standing in the time where you want to be praying and consecrating yourself before God there are things that are abominations that are standing where the temple ought to be where worship ought to be where God ought to be in the control tower of your heart there are abominations in your life that are standing there now we come to these people who are called the Philistines and they have five major places of God, the Ekron, Ashdod, Ash, Ashkelon, and uh, Gaza. Now we still have a battle in Gaza today. And the Philistines are now called the Palestines. <laughs> so the same battles, the same forces that were fought by the first church age, the same evil spirits, that's what we are fighting today. The devil changing only masks, but it's the same devil changing horses but it's the same devil so when the the origins of the philistines can be traced back to ancient crete in cyprus there by dna but they claim to be the owners of uh palestine or or israel they are spirits that have nothing to do with you but they claim to be the ones that run your life but they have nothing to christ told the devil that you have no part in me I have no part in you. So, this is a season of invasions. There's an invasion in Ukraine. There's an invasion 
ready in Taiwan. There's an invasion in Israel, and Israel is also invading Gaza. Could it be also that there's a spiritual invasion in the church? Hallelujah. The prophet preached the message, the invasion of the United States of America. Hallelujah. We may talk about the invasion of city Tepaneko. What is invading in our lives? Because in Jude, it talks about things that crept in unawares. This invasion, it makes you start to analyze that where was the iron dome when all those things were invading? Where was the fivefold ministry when all those things were invading? There was an intelligence, a superpower intelligence that paralyzed the radar systems so they could not pick the attack of the enemy so their intelligence is from the underworld that paralyzes ministries that they cannot pick fashions of the world and infiltrations of demons that come against the children of God so we see that at this time also Hezbollah is trying to attack Israel so this war may go to bigger than the scale that we are talking about but any invasion of Israel, it prepares platform for the Ezekiel 38 invasion of Gog and Magog. Because you must know, when we say, when we name a nation, know it by its Bible name. Amen. When we say Russia, that's Gog and Magog, that that's one. Right. When we say Iran, that's Persia. Hallelujah. When we say Babylon, that's Iraq. <laughs> so when we say uh, Syria is written as Syria anyway. And, and, and Libya is written as Libya those uh, that will invade in Ezekiel chapter 38 war as Christians be thoroughly vexed, not thoroughly vexed Amen. with these things so um, Israel actually spoke back to the Hezbollah to say don't misread uh, what we are doing because it will be costly to you now to Iran it's a tricky situation because um, Hamas are funded by Iran to keep Israel to, to keep fighting Israel but Hamas are a smaller uh, weaker force because I think they had the 10,000 or so missiles but Hezbollah has 30,000 missiles that even if, if they launch them at the same time definitely the Iron Dome may not contain all of them but the Bible says when your, eh, your no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. So forming of weapons is allowed. But the prospering of weapons is not allowed. You won't be able to have everyone loving you. Amen. Or every, to be at peace with the devil. Amen. But one thing that will never happen is for the devil to win against you. Amen. Now for... for Hezbollah, look at this, 130,000 something weapons, that is what they have. But don't look at what the enemy has. Look at what you have as a child of God. As long as you have Jesus, it's alright. As long as you have the shout of that king in the camp, as long as you have the pillar of fire. Now, um, for Iran is very tricky because they may not, it may not be wise for Iran to use Hezbollah now because Israel actually gained more ground by war <laughs> Israel may end up taking even Gaza and actually because according to the land of Israel by Bible from Uva, river Euphrates all the way it belongs to them but by United Nations it's less what you own by what life gives you may be less by, than what the scriptures have given you but it takes battles of life for you to expand yourself so Israel started attacking even Syria because there was a Syrian shell that landed have you noticed that devils work as a team as soon as you are fighting ulcers your BP is also high and other little things are also fighting those are the Hamas and the Hezbollahs and the Syrians when one starts, the other one jumps on you, the other one. But though your enemy come in one way, they shall flee in seven ways. So the Al Aqra crisis escalates. Israel strikes targets in Syria. Israel doesn't fear the enemy, whosoever they are. They are. 
Israel wants to know that are you an enemy? Are you with us? Or are you with them? Whether you are looking like an angel or what? Are you with us? Or are you with them? So they started attacking even in Syria. This strategy of Israel, we must learn from it. The little, da- okay, it's a big damage that happened in Israel, but versus what they've done in Gaza is too much what they've done in Gaza already. They are just teaching people that stop attacking us. Because the, the, what to gain after attacking us is too much. When you have a little problem, cause bigger problems to the devil so that he won't bring those problems anymore. So tensions are mounting on the southern and northern steps of Israel. I think the southern part, that's where the Amaz are, then the other side is the Hezbollah. But if Iran miscalculates and uses Hezbollah now, and they disarm themselves in war, Iran won't have any useful proxies around. They will have emptied themselves. We are not enemies to Arabs. Actually, some of my patients, my good patients are Arabs. We love Arabs. But there are genuine people who are there uh, who are sincere. You see how they dress and how they even more than sisters, you know, they leave only eyes out there. And they have no problem with that. Only that they are, they may be de- they are deceived, right? So, and but God knows what to do with those that He loves that are there. So, the New Deal um, has caused uh, Iran. Iran is threatening Israel to destroy Israel. These are one thing that we can learn from the threats of Israel. Israel was threatened by Egypt. Israel came from Egypt Israel was threatened by Babylon Israel came out of Babylon Israel was threatened by Iran because Israel came out of those places because Ahasuerus was reigning in Persia that's where Iran is so where you came from (laughs) that's where things are following you where you came from, make sure those things don't follow your life. Now, um, I- Iran, supreme leaders, begs the Hamas attacks. Those little devils that are attacking you, they are too small. There is a devil that is sending them. Right. So, look at this. 50 years and one day after Egyptian and Syrian forces launched an assault during a Jewish holiday of Yom Kippur, which is the feast of atonement when you are now confessing your sins, the devil doesn't like that when you are coming closer to God, the things that just discourage you that is where the devil timed in the moments that's why it is said that when you come to God all guns of hell will be pointed at you but all angels of heaven will be there to keep you it was um, around 6.30 in the morning um, that these Hamas started an Operation Al-Aqsa flood because they were believing that Jews are going to destroy that Al-Aqsa. But one day that thing will be destroyed because the condition that the temple be built, it cannot be built around that thing. One condition for you to rise in things of God, there are things you must destroy. You, meet to, you have to meet the price of destroying those things. Now, um, many fighters came into Israel by breaching the fence, the, the border. It is said that Israel is a border with Hamas. It is said that your spirit is a border with the flesh. <laughs> so, desires of the flesh will keep trying to cross over, but you must shut the gates that are bringing things from the flesh until your super sense rules all those senses the border with the things with his eyes the border with the, these are borders these ears these eyes those senses are borders now by 6.45 GMT uh, time a uh, blast were heard in Gaza Israel doesn't have to put it to another day if the attack came today the response which is bigger yet to come 
I don't understand people are under attack but they are still flaccid they are not praying they are not responding they are not fighting back fight back in prayer the escalation may be more serious uh, if uncontrolled it may get to a third world war again because um, some, another commentator from Israel was saying the jamming of the radars of the iron dome cannot be done by any other superpower except Russia or America and we know it's not America they were saying Russia is somewhere there because Russia is part of Ezekiel 38 invading force right. but Israel was told you shall defeat seven nations mightier than thou art you overcome things that are bigger than you because greater is he that is within you than the one that is in the world one of the sad sides of this battle is that hundreds were taken captive Israelites now the most painful thing is to see men and women who are born to be sons and daughters of God taken captive by websites, by desires, by deceptions taken captive but we're going to fight until everyone is, is released because when um, the ship of David was taken captive he had to take a slingshot to release it so these battles are bible old you know you know there was a battle in Gath there was a battle in Ashdod where the Ark of the Covenant fought for Israel uh, these are bible names that we still have those now the five big cities of the Philistines that seem to want to be close and share close to Israel are like the five senses that you must subdue for the six cents to operate so the five cities of the Philistines are like the five senses, senses of, of feeling Stines, yes, Philistines <laughs> right so look at the massive response of Israel I am not someone who enjoys violence but this massive response says something spiritual that we have no small response when the enemy comes like a flood the spirit of God will raise a standard for the enemy now the iron dome see for Israel is an immunity system that every believer must have as soon as something flies in the air there must be a detecting force as soon as something is attacking your children in the night there must be a detecting force as soon as the horse rider runs in there must be a, a beast that says come and see exposing the devil to overcome means to identify the devil at every one of his tricks now I'm coming to something now Israel this is very terrible Israel is good as we take them as the sons of Abraham but do you know that Tel Aviv is now the Arab gay capital it's the gay capital of Arab um, this is as you see in the streets there uh, Tel Aviv is regarded as the gay capital of Arab do we have a scripture for that let's go to Revelation chapter 11 verse 8 the bodies of Moses and Elijah they will remain in this great street of that great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt Amen. where our Lord was crucified Jerusalem natural is the seat of Abraham but spiritually it's Sodom and Egypt that's why in Sati it says you have a name that you live but you are dead naturally we call you brother and sister but spiritually Amen. what are you because this great Jerusalem that we want to go and see the open grave of our Lord that we want to see Jerusalem we want to see the way the great victories were won in the tower of David where there are uh, uh, many weapons of vanquished falls still on the spiritual side it's called Sodom and Egypt what is your spiritual condition one time John saw a great movement spiritual movement that is calling itself mother of all churches but spiritually it was called mystery Babylon now Israel against all odds they will prevail you must rejoice at that because as a believer against all odds 
against all obstacles, against all op- opposition, you shall prevail. You are like Israel because they have the natural law, you have the spiritual law. They have the natural battles, you have the spiritual battle. They have natural circumcision, you have the spiritual circumcision. They have the natural land of Canaan, we have the spiritual land of Canaan. They have the natural feasts, we have the spiritual feasts. They have the natural priesthood, we have the spiritual priesthood. They have the natural exodus, we have the spiritual exodus. They have the natural Passover, we have the spiritual Passover. They have the natural Jebusites and Midianites, we have Webusites and Midian things that we are fighting. They have the 12 patriarchs, we have the 12 apostles. Now, um, God did say to Abraham that in blessing I will bless you, in multiplying I will multiply thee. Um, uh, thy seed shall be as the stars of heaven, and thy seed shall possess the gate of the enemy. Whatever happens, we must possess the gates of the enemy. Now, um, he says in Exodus 23, verse 23, uh, 22, that um, if thou will indeed obey the voice, I will be an enemy to your enemies, and I will be an adversary to your adversaries. It doesn't matter what you are fighting. Whatever you hate, God also hates. Whatever you are fighting, God also is fighting. He, whatever pain you feel, God also feels it. He's a priest that is touched. Look at this map of Israel. It may take you time to see that little Israel. Israel is the center of the earth. A Middle East crisis. When I look at you like that, east to be where the heart is, the Middle East crisis. In the small area of your heart, the Middle East is there. That's where all battles are fought. That's the center. No, the center of the world is Israel. The center of Israel is the Temple Mount. The temple, the center of the Temple Mount is the temple. The center of the temple is the holiest of holies. The center of the holiest of holies is the Ark of the Covenant. The center of the Ark of the Covenant is the Word. So one thing, as much as Israel uh, is a promised land, and there's still battles in Israel. It means, even if you have received the Holy Ghost, you are now in Canaan, there are still battles that you have to fight. Because it doesn't represent the millennium, it represents the Holy Ghost baptism. You have crossed over Jordan to Canaan's fair land, but there are still giants. Some see the promised land, others only see giants. Some see possibilities, others only see obstacles. Some enter the promise, others um, refuse the good things that are coming because of uh, the challenges. Here I was seeing Mount Olives from Israel. I was standing right on uh, observing from Mount Olives, right? This is a striking quotation from the prophet. He says, it's the way it was in Egypt. God never dealt with Israel till she come to her homeland. Hear me, thus saith the Lord. God will not deal with his church till she comes back to the homeland, the message of the hour, back to the original. You are wondering why God is silent in your life. Come back to the word. Back to prayer. Back to consecration. Back to the Holy Ghost. Back to living true. Back to living in holiness. That's how God will deal with you. So this battle that we are seeing in media is just a battle of two cities. Jerusalem we know types the, the spirit. Babylon we know types the flesh and all worst enemies. Jerusalem we know types the spirit. It is the soul that the Lord has chosen. But stone by stone Jerusalem shall rise. Little by little your spirit will overcome all powers of darkness. Now the battle that we are seeing is just Ishmael versus Isaac. Because Ishmael was a son of Abraham by flesh desires. But the other one was a son by promise. So don't give to that to fleshly things in your mind, in the womb of your spirit, but to promise. Actually, Ishmael 
was a son of Abraham. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Isaac was a son of Abraham. <laughs> when you were changed, yes. blessings started coming out of your life. Amen. But before God changed, it was things that are not right. And the Bible says that you will be a wild man and his hand will be against every man. When this was written in Genesis, they had not coined the word terrorist. <laughs> but they just said his hand shall be against every man. That is a terrorist. That one. But now, the hammers, they are just harming themselves. Because look at poverty. That is among the Hamas. And every nation that fights Israel is so poor. Look, look, look at the destruction in Libya. Look at the destruction in Iraq. Look at the destruction. The, those uh, nations are getting so poor. Syria, Syria is in serious problems. Because God says, I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse those who curse you. Now, Russia is being moved in slowly because Israel is already thanking. I saw Netanyahu thanking uh, America for support. It actually me means you are pulling Russia on the contrary uh, because God says I'll put hooks in your jaws. In other words, Russia will be hooked in. <laughs> it shall be hooked in. He says I'll put hooks in. Maybe they did not want to but scripture wants them to. Hallelujah. You know, there are some things that we would not have desired to do, but scriptures, Hallelujah. it behooveth us to fulfill Hallelujah. all righteousness. Hallelujah. Actually, even in Isaiah, they talked about putting hooks in the nose of somebody. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, now, we are in the, uh, the war of Amagiton is brewing up. When any battle involves Israel, look carefully. No, Israel lost a lot. Palestinians are saying we lost land to Israel. But by right, that is land of Israel. So, um, as I'm preparing to close, let me just come to something. Um, Israel at the fig tree. Um, when you see the fig tree putting forth its buds, know that summer is nigh. Now we know that God shall send. Moses and Elijah to the Jews to restore them back and the prophet says in the seven weeks of Daniel because seven weeks of Daniel is the church edges of the Jews Amen. trumpets is the seals of the Jews <laughs> their seven weeks is their church edges their trumpets is their seals so he says uh, he will preach the same message of Pentecost to those Jews that rejected the Messiah so, as Joseph also could not refrain himself in chapter 45 of Genesis, then he caused the bride to go to the palace. As not the bride will go to the palace in the three and a half years, marriage supper of the Lamb, and then he reveals himself to the Jews. And then the sharp restoration, uh, Moses and Elijah are agents of the sixth seal. But our prophet and us, we are agents of the seventh seal. They are the ones who cause those the blackening of the sun. They shall smite the earth with all plagues. Because the sixth seal, um, I will skip many things so that I can be able to close. The sixth seal is about a, a total cataclysm, interruption of nature and the blackening of the sun and the moon. Um, look at this. In the sixth seal, redemption of Israel and the purging of the foolish virgin what will happen uh, it says the sun became as black um, as sackcloth the moon as red as blood the moon represents the church the church is shedding blood Amen. then the stars which represent Israel fell down meaning the stars represent Israel the other thing that represents Israel is fig it says they fell as untimely figs so that is a time when there is tribulation I've not preached much about it because it doesn't concern us. Those who are remaining in the tribulation, find your own notes. We are not preaching for those who are remaining. Find your research, do your own research. We will meet after in the white throne judgment then you give us some notes and how it happened then. Well, but we, let's preach to those who are preparing to go. Now, 
Israel, the world has just changed overnight. Things are happening at the, such a speed. You know, when Christ was, was at the cross, that's where thousands of prophets, it, it was many prophecies happened in a few minutes. You find seven or more prophecies happening. You know, some people are waiting that I will be serious when I see this happening, when I see lost angels singing. When I now, who told you that lost angels will sing when maybe it will sing during the rapture? Maybe the same earthquake that opens the grave is the one that sings lost angels. Because there is people are saying Billy Paul is an old man now, uh, but we hear that there was a time when sharks were seen in lost angels. Because anyway. I don't think the prophet meant that to Billy Paul that you will see sharks swimming because lost angels have sunk. Where will he be standing when they sunk? You are seeing sharks where something has sunk. And where are you standing when lost angels is sunk? Then you start seeing sharks in a sunken place. <laughs> we are told that sharks were seen all over lost angels when there was um, that flood and what ever happened. So I don't want to interpret prophecy, but I want to say it may go the way you don't expect it. Anyway, he, he will be a young man by the time some of those things happen. Because if it happens during the rapture time, Filippo will be young. I will be young also <laughs> at that time. If it happens in the rapture, because our bodies will change on to be young. Now, um, because let, let, let me just be able to close because I started late. I will take part two of this. But maybe if there are a few questions here on the line, I will take only three questions before I close because this is just a teaching subject. So, um, we, we are the apple of God's eye. If you live right, you see the power of a covenant. If there is a covenant over you, if Israel is filled as they are Israel is not super holy they are not living right but the covenant is keeping them victorious if there is a covenant in your life somehow victory is coming your way remember in the United Nations um, one uh, when Israel was coming back from all nations no, Israel came from many nations, but we came from denominations. <laughs> so, when well, they came on the wings of an aeroplane, on the wings of a mighty eagle. But for us as the spiritual Israel, we have an eagle anointing that took us from denomination to the revealed world, where the carcass is, the eagles gather there. So, when Israel were coming, United Nations, because there was no place for them, there was no land for them, but a United Nations initially suggested a place in Africa, I think it was Gambia or somewhere, and said, go there, you won't harm anyone by being there. They said, no, we don't want a substitute. What belongs to us is what we shall take as a child of God, don't take a substitute when the Pentecostal skies are full of the original. Like, Naboth did not want a substitute from Ahab. I don't want a substitute. I want the original word. The original power. The old time Holy Spirit. The old time anointing. If there is someone with a question, you just raise your hand and then we will ask around what is happening in Israel and what shall happen. If you see any question online, I will take only three uh, and if you have no questions there is no problem, we will find questions next time um, Israel is God's timepiece now when you see these things, look up your redemption is now I would ask you what sign are you waiting for before the rapture happens, Let, tell me one that you are saying this when it happens, we are now closer to the rapture if you happen to have it, if you happen to have it, because third pool, we are already in the third pool. All other things can happen overnight. People were keeping some scriptures saying Christ he was not given vinegar. He was not given one to the, his garments were not parted into four. Then in the last hours at the cross, 
one gives him vinegar the other one cuts the garment then he cries my father my father all of a sudden so many things happened now there's no space for sinning in this time this is not a season for sinning you if you have not enjoyed sin you lost it I agree that you have lost it it's time to make right and repent you lost it <laughs> Babylon those Arab places are Babylon area Babylon was characterized by skyscrapers do you know in the Arab places that's where you have the Page the Khalifa the other taller one than that one was supposed to be in Saudi Arabia that's where you have those skyscrapers but the children of God were intense seeking a city whose builder and maker is God but when Abraham left that land of the Chaldeans he looked for that city Canaan's land when he reached natural Canaan his desire went higher for a city whose builder and maker is God do you know sometimes you are God was leading him to a natural Canaan and said walk in the land but when he reached that land he desired a city whose builder and maker is God have you seen that Babylon it grows downwards but Jerusalem grows upwards Babylon started with the head in the Nebuchadnezzar growing downwards to the feet now it's in the feet but Babylon we start by faith we eat we're going higher we're going to a new level we're going higher and higher that's why he says someone is saying how about the latter rain has it been cancelled no the latter rain is falling actually the former and latter rain came in this message of the hour the former rain teaching rain started in the days of Paul the apostles but in this age we have both the former and the latter rain but again it's going to be a great climax and the prophet said it will be a short quick work it won't be a public show so not many people will know that it has happened he says watch the third pool then what you have seen temporarily in a measure you shall see it in its full scale manifestation but there is no time of reserving waiting for that hour you must use it now because who, who knows some of us will die, will die some of us will not see death if you are reserving what if you die use it now speak the word and use the power that is given unto this is the season of the third pool it was announced by the prophet that watch it has started it's already over two o'clock it's now another time we're already in the dispensation of adoption where men and women shall do exploits we're not just going to give Israel this gospel lesson we're going to have a showdown we're going to have a climax, a such a move of the power of God. Such that by the time we give Israel, will be in heaven already. Israel, by the time they start believing the message that we believed, they won't be playing about it. They will weep and cry as once mourned for their son. They will weep and mourn, then they will say, Where are these scars? seeing what you are seeing now when they see it when their eyes are open they shall maximize and use that time now um, maybe you can take it what if there's another question I'm left with the two questions uh, tomorrow I'll be off to um, Scotland so I'll come when I come back I'll just take it from where we left it now it's an awakening I know to others it's scary to hear about end times end of time means starting of eternity we are creatures of eternity we, we come from God and we go back to God this old world can never hold us the ending of this life is beautiful to a believer because what you have in you does not end Uh, please explain Gog and Magog before Armageddon and after the millennium. I think he's bringing the scripture that is found in Ezekiel 
38 where it says the Gog and those invaders uh, Persia, Syria uh, all that army that shall invade Israel um, in the battle that shall happen when we are gone after um, Israel you know Israel will have a, a covenant Amen. with the antichrist system because the antichrist will want to put his throne in Israel so that according to Thessalonians he sit in the most holy temple showing himself to be God setting himself above all what is God, God called God and all what is worshipped but what is hindering that that man is revealed is he that let it we who are here we are stopping the full wrath we are stopping the plagues we are stopping the locusts we are stopping the calamities we are, we are stopping the vials we are stopping the men of sin being revealed the man of sin is afraid that if he comes out before our power will destroy him so when we are now gone that's when the man of sin will say I am the man of sin before powerless people <laughs> so then there's the Gog and Mag the, Ma the battle of Gog after the millennium that is in Revelation chapter 20. That one is uh, when the devil, after the millennium, he gathers his army after the rem the, those in the camp of the blessed. And then fire from heaven will destroy them. But Ezekiel 1 is against Israel in a uh, in that battle uh, that matches with the third world war somehow because Russia will be defeated there but they will also revenge on America after they are defeated <laughs> um, how come the third pool with the brother Branham was always preceded by super anointing yet the message ministers third pool is without super anointing uh, this is nice <laughs> well we, we must operate in the same levels because Isaac when he came to the wells that Abraham digged and Philistines had filled them with sand he opened the same channels and gave them the same names so we're not going to engineer our third pool or, or fifth pool or eighth pool we're going to come to the same super anointing and if before we get it let's not try to manufacture it wait until you have the genuine if nothing is happening keep sincere Amen. keep true before God keep worshipping one day you break into something you don't have to manufacture a revival say, oh others are dead pulling let me pull one or two tricks just keep sincere before God keep believing one day you shall have such a ground breaking testimony in your life and that day can be now that day can be today as we stand to our feet our time is already up brothers and sisters this is a solemn hour to every believer it's an awakening call to those who are born in the message those who are not born in the message it's an awakening call that things that are happening around us should bring joy than fear to us to say I've prepared for this moment and this is homecoming time I can only say swing law sweet chariot now certainly the rapture will happen when someone is thinking of being married uh, with me I was very honest before God in my days I said Lord I want to be married I love you but I want to be married in those days God could hear those things <laughs> but now if you want to be married be married now time is going brothers who are wasting time marry but otherwise even if you are rejected by all the boys don't be rejected by the lamb in the marriage of the lamb above we're not going to heaven running away from problems no we're going to overcome there was a time in the six day war six day war represents the six thousand one day is like a thousand represents the six thousand years of war against flesh when Israel were left sometimes there would be one tank against so many 
there was that's the time when miracles were seen in the time when you are squeezed as a believer in the time when it looks like you are going to fail when you seem when it seems like your friends have all gone when it seems like you are forsaken that's the time when supernatural exploits but you pick that power before you enter those moments that power must be in you when those situations arrive it's not time when you are under threats of the enemy to start looking for power at that time you must be already full of the anointing full of the Holy Ghost you start associating with that super anointing super atmosphere that God will bring things to pass in your life today as we all here to pray if there is someone who wants to make right in their lives this is your chance wherever you are, wherever you want to be praying it's time to connect with God now coming to God is not because of a war or an earthquake or you were missed by a car it's because you come from God and you go back to God because if you come to God because someone has fired a missile when you hear that there is peace you say oh praise the Lord back to your things you must come to God because you can't live any other life you are tired of those things of the world brothers and sisters you are born to worship us you are born as sons and daughters of God and all nature is waiting to see husbands who are sons of God to see wives who are sons of God to see preachers who are full of the power of God to see sons and daughters of God taking their position with such an ending and unconditional love until you say though he slay me I will trust him as we all start praying if there is something in your life that is not right it's time to make it right before God if you have been lazy to read the prophecies go and read the prophecies of the hour when I come back from Scotland I will take part 2 of this now uh, my time was very short but I will take part 2 and we start seeing the mysteries of what is happening in our lives as the spiritual Israel let's all pray our heavenly father we thank you this evening for your grace and mercy for the promise you said father if the righteous shall be scarcely served where shall be the place of the ungodly you told us to wake our salvation with the fear and trembling we are told that in that time that we are living in now that there shall be perilous times and men's hearts shall be failing for fear because of perplexity of times things that people shall see signs in heaven above and earth below but father those who are believers you said in that be not shaken for all these things shall come to pass father we are seeing the unfolding of prophets and our hearts are crying for those who are not yet born again those who don't know you in the power of your resurrection those who have not yet an experience with God, those who are still living a double life in the world and also trying to come to church, I pray for that your caring hand will reach down to that fallen man, to that backslid and sister and backslid and brother and bring them back to the power of God, back to the original, back to the Holy Ghost gospel. Heavenly Father, we know one day we shall preach our last sermon. One day we shall call the sinner for the last time. One day, Lord Father, it shall be the last altar call for the lost ones then the great book is opened watch then when the ones who rejected this message will be asked to give a, a reason father we pray as we look at our lives father search us oh lord and know our heart today revive us father give us that word born revival that inward desire to please you to walk in your statutes to walk in your ways father as we also pray for israel that lord father you give them the victory in all those battles and give every believer victory in all spiritual battles that they are fighting father through many dangers toils and snares through many arrows may pierce our souls from without within but the lord goes ahead and leads whatever be tied i know there are many lord father who are facing barricade of missiles spiritually and financially barricade of missiles things are just falling apart in their lives but there is a man here that can turn on the light the god who keeps them he says he shall keep us in that hour of trial that shall come upon all the world he says because you have kept the word of my patience i will keep you from that hour of temptation that shall come 
upon all those that dwell on the earth in those days of trial father in those days when the world is falling apart in those days when there is a shaking we know we have received a kingdom that cannot be shaken revive us in the inner man give us a closer look oh father as we arise and trim our lips let everyone search their lives and see if their life is worth of the gospel let everyone search their life and see if they are walking true with god father we know there is an unseen hand that guides us there is an unseen hand that fights our battles that dissolves all the fiery darts of the enemy but father we are told by your bible Lord, Father, in psalms 91 that we shall we shall not fear though ten thousand fall by right hand side it shall not come nigh to us though father we shall not be afraid of terror that that flies by noonday or destruction that flies by night a believer will overcome against all odds protect us father under your covenant under the message of our as we are told that that say the lord god will only deal with the church as long as they stay in the homeland of the message of the hour bring us home father through experiences with you bring us home father through the revealed word of the hour bring us home father through the healing ministry through the deliverance ministry through your power Lord, through the teaching ministry through the evangelism through the fullness of the word father i pray this evening if there be somebody who is sick may they be healed instantly by your power if anyone has a need or a desire may you answer that need you are a god that is at hand a god that is not far off a god who fights our battles you are a jealous god who watches and he says whosoever touches us he touches the apple of your eye heavenly father we see in this season where the gospel is taking the last sweep among the gentiles help us father to give us that revival give us that latter and former rain father let the rains fall in our lives let there be showers of blessings let there be seasons refreshing let there be answers and testimonies and victories and breakthroughs but let there be such a move of your spirit let there be a cloud burst of your anointing of the supernatural that father we can handle the promises that we have seen in this hour where even missing limbs have been restored where the dead pool manifestation will be in full power father those who are looking for the holy ghost fill them today those who are looking for another touch those who are looking for a revival those who are looking for your move in their lives father may you move those hearts the eleventh our believers among the gentiles before the gospel goes to the eleventh our people the jews father may there be answers today i know there are many desires many needs many prayer requests but our God, may you move upon those requests, those unspoken needs, unspoken desires. You are a present help in time of need. May you supply super abundantly above what your children are, are praying for, Lord Father. In this crucial hour, we also apply the token for every loved one that is still an unbeliever, those who still don't know you, Lord Father. Our relatives, our parents, our siblings, all those who are still in the world, Father we apply the token and say lord remember them father when the world's on fire may they be your bosom father may your bosom be our pillow in that judgment time that is coming the shaking hours that are coming father i pray when we see the oncoming storms coming may we see a shelter in the hands of god a shelter in your bosom when the storms of life are raging father will keep us protect us protect every believer in this time and bring them to a realization a perfect realization of the time that we are living in in jesus name we pray amen and amen amen god bless you we've come to the end of the service so pray for me i'll be departing tomorrow morning um then i noticed the brothers in scotland they've done a good job they've printed so many copies of couples companion as i said when i come back i'll also have a couples meeting here uh, sorry to those who are not married but they are i will maybe call those who are in courtship so you have time this week um <laughs> then when we come we'll meet in that meeting in the church god bless you till we meet amen Hallelujah. I mean, we
Yes, Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord once more, Amen. Swing love, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Sweet love, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing love, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home, swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. I have looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me, oh, coming for to carry me. Oh, yeah, swing Lord, swing Lord, sweet cherry, oh, coming for to carry me home, swing Lord, sweet cherry, oh. Coming for to carry me home If you get home before I do Oh, coming for to carry me home You all my friends Coming to Coming for to carry me Singing, swing, love, sweet love, sweet chat.